All right, here's the deal. I know at the end of every part, I say, hey, I should, man, I'm really enjoying this game. I should play it some more. And then six months like go by, and then I finally play it again. And I'm like, oh, man, this is great. I'm going to play it some more. <clears throat> here's the deal, guys. Uh, these... These videos don't get good views for a number of reasons. Some people just don't like Okami, which is fine, or they don't know about it. They don't. They didn't care to like watch it. That's fine. Uh, another reason is it's kind of niche, I guess. But I mean, the main reason is on it's on part like 24, or 25 at this point, <clears throat> and people are new to the channel. People, I mean, this is this series has been going on for fucking ever. People who are new to this uh, channel and stuff like that. They're not gonna watch a series starting here. It's just not. It's not viable. So these con consistently get low views, and part of me is like, oh man, well, you know, I guess I gotta, uh, I guess that's it. But, I mean, that's shitty. I think I just need to fucking buckle up and fucking finish it, for fuck's sake, I'm so... Alright, well, here's the, here's the thing. I'm definitely gonna finish it, because, um, wait, they eat fish, right? Yeah. I'm gonna finish it before December 12th. Some way or another, I will finish it, whether it's a stream or whatever. Because December 12th, Okami comes out on PS4. Um, which I think is a full four years after it came out on PS3. So, probably should have finished this by now. But that's okay. It wouldn't let me bite the bear. Alright. <clears throat> Start my fucking life. Little hidden cave. What's on in here? What's all this about? I don't remember if I came here before. Oh. Oh no. Not you. I think this is the hardest one in the game, too. So if you, uh... If you don't have PTSD from this guy, like I do... You will in a second. Oh, it's just, uh, it's all coming back to me. I have no idea where we left off story-wise. I think... I went to the village, and they were like... Shit's fucked. And I was like, oh. So I think I have to go into the, like, forbidden forest or whatever and find the little girl. This is completely going from memory, uh, of which I have very little. I don't, I don't want to talk to you. I am blockhead. I grab this place so that all shall pass. Or wait, none shall pass. Not you again. You just never learned, do you? Then again, I gotta hand it to you. You're one persistent dude. White demon of death, finally you have come this far. In the name of the blockhead clan, I, blockhead grande, strongest of our clan, rise up to stop you. I know of your deadly skills. They have been the end of my brethren, and I have not <laughs> underestimated you. Indeed, I have been training daily to ready myself for your arrival. My body is now as hard as steel. I defy to find any weak points. Go right ahead, strike my hard rock body, or my rock hard body, to your heart, heart's content. Yeah, man, I'll, I'll get right on that. It'll be our pleasure, but let me ask, how come you guys never take the offensive? I mean, how do you expect to ever win that way? The blockade clan never resorts to such boorish, act, boorish acts. Take the beating, then dish it out. That is our clan's philosophy. Now, the time for talk is over. Come strike me if you dare. Alright, well, first off, I refuse to let these wilted trees go on any longer. There's only two of them? That seems weird. Usually there's at least like four or six. I mean, there's two, so the symmetry's there. Yeah. Alright. Let's also get these. So yeah, there are a bunch of like hidden shit like this that starts around the time you get to Ryoshima Coast, and it uh, kind of goes from there. Oh no. Is the camera really... Oh no, wait, it's not. What the hell have I been playing? I was going to say, the camera's reversed, but it's not. Right is right and left is left. I'm playing, um, Harvest Moon. And they don't let you, uh, change the camera on that. Alright, let's just... Oh yeah, I'll get right on that. Okay. Jesus Christ. Pause on this. Alright. One is like slightly here, a little bit up a little bit more. The precision on this is ridiculous. I'm not a fan of how taxing this is. One. And then right about here, I think. Slowly up more. It's like, it's definitely, it's, I don't get the precision, precision for this either. Two. 
Oh, wait, wait, whoa, whoa. The video just skipped a bit. Okay, and we got one right on his lip, one right next to it. One right in the corner. Oh, wait, hold on, I can see. It'll stay paused if I do this. Oh, I see, hold on. So, right on this thing. Right. Here? Oh, this, this one's so fucking hard to judge because there's no, like, points to base it off of. And then right. Move it out more. There. And then above it. And by his eye. This one's lined up with the other two. There's one right on the corner of his eye. This is a, a real... This minigame wouldn't be nearly as bullshit if it wasn't so fucking precise. One smack in the corner, right on this thing, a little bit up above the crack. Come on, it's like literally like right here. There we go. Fucking got him. Didn't even try to play that the normal way. <laughs> so if you couldn't tell, I recorded it with my phone, and then I just played it back. I might put the phone recording in there. Probably won't. No, this cannot be. You have struck every last one of my weak points, and after I trained so hard to cover them up. Your sight is not of this world. It's like the eyes of the gods. Oh, white demon of death. Oh, they're playing the sad music. Behold, the moment of death is upon me. May this image be burned into your eyes for all eternity. It's kind of wobbly for a death. Ooh, what do we get? Three chests. Lockhead Grande. I'll see to it that your epic tale lives on forever. On YouTube at BradleyZaylist.com slash YouTube. Silver Pocket Watch. It's weird for, uh, to see pocket watches and stuff like that. Fucking stray bead. You need this for a stray bead. Meaning you needed it for the trophy. And Gold Dust is pretty good. I like the only power, uh, teamed up with Booker T. That was my favorite. Alright, well that small little, uh, detour. Fuck those guys. God, the one at Oni Island is the fucking worst. Alright. Trying to play the minigame, and then I remember it doesn't exist anymore. Did I not pick this up? I'm a little bit ashamed of myself. <clears throat> okay, I think the village is over yonder. Because I, I remember seeing that. What are you doing here? Get away from my... That's mine. Get away from me. Alright. Alright. That's full. Could start raising health. Money pouch is probably the last thing I need. Yeah, that one's full now. At 380. I think I only have a few more in this, because there's a bunch of um, fragments that you have to get for this one. I could start doing my astral, astral pouch, uh, so I can get revived from death at least once, but I don't plan on dying, so that seems useless to me. Yeah, so I have a few left of these. I think there might be a total of... 15 of the sun fragments, so I mean I can upgrade my health one more time. Or no, because I've been upgrading it slowly. Uh, so it's probably a good amount. Do I have it in my inventory somewhere? No, I'm, I don't have any on me. Alright. What we got? We got the golden pots, lucky golden cats, walk on water, um, and I have the two reflectors equipped. When do I get the fucking badass reflector? I gotta find that one. I know they sell it in, um... God, there's shit everywhere. Did I just not come here? Oh, I was like... I immediately forgot I could walk on water. Do you believe that you can walk on water? So I have to listen to the radio at work now. A lot's happened since, um... Since, since we... Since we last changed. Or uh, since I last recorded. I was listening to the radio at work, and I... <clears throat> I put it on a, an alt-rock station. And when I say alt-rock, I think of a different thing. Apparently, when they think of alt rock, they think of college rock, and Blink 182, and all the small things exclusively. It's the only Blink 182 song they play, and uh, rotating between American Idiot, Holiday, and very infrequently Boulevard of Broken Dreams for Green Day, and then all of this garbage, where it's like, uh, I mean, what? How does it go? They were legends after all. Whoa, whoa, whoa. Just the same fucking six songs. And the fucking... The Man by the Killers. Not 
you know, not, uh, I don't even know the name of the song, but, you know, she, uh, I fucking, I like the killers. I just, I don't like that one song. It's okay, but I don't want to hear it seven times a, a night. I'm sorry, I need to rant about that. I fucking hate the radio. The mysterious forest of Yosh Pet lies ahead. But as you can see, it's protected by the mark of the Oina. Strangers can't even get in, unless, of course, somebody from the Oina tribe would put a spell or something. You really are bent on getting into that forest, ain't you? Alright, well. I thought that's what I had to do. It appears now that I was wrong. Is that the, is that the only way to get in there? Oh yeah, so, <laughs> fucking golden peach. That's the other thing, it's like, man, they really don't want you to die. But it's like, at the same time, it's not that, this game's not that hard. Well, it is, but it's not like, impossible. What am I feeding here? Herons? I don't, I'm gonna just say this, I don't think they needed to have three different kinds of, or four different kinds of feed. I think they probably could have gotten away with three. Seeds, grass, and meat. The fish one seems so forced. What do we got here? Oh my god, the fucking ice. Amethyst tassels, alright. Where in fuck's name do we have to go now? So there's the village over there. No, this is the Oshpad. Huh? Where was I supposed to go? This is where I'm doing it from memory. I thought I finished everything so I could just go from there, but clearly that is not the case. Right, how do I get now? It's up here. Oh, um, speaking of radio, uh, I don't listen to it when I go to work, I'm like on my way to work in my car. Um, I just recently downloaded, um, and my, by downloaded I mean definitely purchased legally, um, the <laughs> the Asian Kung Fu Generations uh, like album like 2004 or something like that, and um, what else? And I, one of their a couple of their other al albums. And listen to those. That's pretty good. It's not. I don't usually listen to J Rock or rock like that in general, but I'm not against it. Right, so I need her to just be like, "Hey, come with me." She's not here. Am I supposed to meet her somewhere? Oh, this is terrible. Oh God, this is so annoying. I need hints. I wish there was a talk to Isun button. The must have summoned you because he wanted you to go to Yashpet. Don't forget to take that charm if you plan on entering the forest. You'll find it at the edge of Lauchi Lake, north of our village. I'll uh, put a cork in it. We know that already. Yeah, I mean, let's go. I did not know that. Well, then let me give you this, 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 this bit of advice. Do not underestimate the land of Kamui. You said I did. Now, give me some slack room. I'm going to find it like okay? Warning you not to underestimate the power of nature. Kamui is a harsh land with, with or without the demon's blizzard. You're a punk. You should know all that, right? Note yourself killed by underestimating Mother Nature. Oh, that's right. We haven't gone to, uh, the Punkle Village yet. Alright, here we go. I had a vague suspicion that I had to do this first. Um, I think this is the way. Why did I save in the middle of the fucking lake if I had to do this? Isn't there a save point in the village? Kimui, Ezo Fuji. Oh, am I not supposed to be here yet either? I know there's two different places you can go here, I, so I wouldn't be surprised if I'm not supposed to be here yet. But, seems like they're letting me. Oh no, you're definitely not supposed to be here yet. I uh, wasn't sure exactly which place it was, but this is definitely not the way to go. Um, spoilers, this is the final area in the game. Um, I got one more. Let me see. Let's do the travel guide. Another civilization. Modern Nippon offers mysteries that cannot easily be explained. Devices that even scholars in the capital are unable to decipher. Stone artifacts that endow the wearer with special abilities. They are thought to be evidence of a civilization beyond our own. My great-grandfather spoke often of such matters. He had traveled to the windy plains of Taka Pass for brush training. While there, he noticed a strange light tracing an arc in the sky. The light eventually settled in the area of Sasha's sanctuary. Great-grandfather traveled there for the following day with a light. Had landed, he saw a mysterious symbol floating in midair. It is not uncommon to hear such tales repeated here in Nippon. Whether one believes in this otherworldly civilization or not, it would seem that many among us certainly want to believe. I am not ashamed to say I count myself among their ranks. I'm talking about the, uh, the bamboo ship from way back when. For a game that I really don't play that often, I still remember a lot of it. <laughs> Surprisingly. And forget a lot of it. But yeah, I'm gonna play this on PS4. 
I don't know if I'll stream it because maybe it'll be a chance to get new people in on it, but I just I feel like it might be too soon. Um, but at the same time, uh, I love that game. I, Alkami is one of my favorite games of all time. Even if I don't always treat it with the respect it deserves by playing it and finishing it. Um, but genuinely, I've, I've had some of the most fun um, doing this. Okay, this lighthearted music is annoying me. I'm playing in the snow and trying to make a big snowball. It's got a, it's got a bit bigger than I thought, though. All of the grown-ups complain about the snow. We kids love being a set. Doesn't matter how cold it is. Why don't you try to make a big snowball too, Wolfie? I'm only a kid, so that's the biggest I can manage. But you're bigger than me, so you should be able to do it better. Just keep on rolling that one there. Make it really, really huge. I want to say no. Oh, that's cool. It vaguely allows you to uh, control it. It's not like... It's not like a... Uh, what do you call it? Uh, you have to like actually like run into it. You have some semblance of control. This is uh, actually a little easier than I thought it would be. Now, I'm trying to make a snowman, but does he want me to do all this at once? Also, why would he ask for a dog's help? A dog can't make snowballs. <laughs> this is ridiculous. Game literally unplayable. Alright, I do know enough about how video games work that I should not. Also, I can do that real quick. Is that I should not put it in the fire. Those are actually not bad. The uh, higher level exorcism slips. slips. The uh, small one's not that great. But the medium and large can be helpful if you want to just ignore enemies and just kind of destroy them immediately. Alright, kid. What do you got? Is this not enough? Do you want me to get literally all of them? Ah, uh, no. I don't want to do this. I don't know what awaits us here, but I gotta continue the story. I gave myself a deadline. I gotta finish this. Oh my god. I just love spoiling things too. This, it just vaguely reminds me of that um, I, I keep spoiling shows and stuff like that and videos completely unrelated to that. Like not like brand new stuff. Like I'm not like, I'm not out here like the day after Game of Thrones coming out going, wasn't that shit bananas? I loved when, oh, I loved when Darth Vader came over and just killed everyone. And then rode the dragon to freedom. No. It's, um... Where the fuck am I going? You're not the map. Why are you... Why is there an options menu on, de on a dedicated button? Okay. The Keeper's Shrine. It is... You do access it from here. Okay. How the fuck do I get it? Oh. It's not that. No, I already I went there. That's where the, uh... The otter kid is. Also, this is a mask. This is a village of people with different masks, and most of them turn into dogs. So then, riddle me this: What the fuck does that kid with the otter mask turn into? Does he actually turn into an otter? So that's as a Fuji. This is the elder's house. I can't figure out the map. No, oh, there's another area I can get to. I don't know how to get to it though. That kid wasn't the right, the way, right? This isn't like the. Cause it would be, be a much bigger. I gotta stop doing that. A lot of games I know have a select for the map. Maybe it is. A oh, Webkeer Square. Why did I read that as shrine? Right, where does he want me to go? Oh, he's at the edge of some lake, which leads me to believe that um. I did have to go back outside. And this uh, this has been sort of a waste. That's okay. I found out what I had to do. Oh, Nick, what? Nick, it's easy. Why don't you just watch your video and figure out where you do a last? Cause that's the last resort. I don't want to watch my shit. I don't think I'm nearly as entertaining. That's not true. I could probably listen to myself, but then that gets that can gets into a level of narcissism. I don't think I'm comfortable with. I'm just watching my own videos. I purposely don't watch them because I'm afraid that'll be like, ha, this guy's great. And then I'll only make videos for me and no one else. And then I just won't release them because why would I? I've already seen them. Hey, but it's like, you're not really going to Yash Pit, are you? Uh, ignorance must be bliss day fall. Forest entrance has been sealed by a wind crest. Strangers can't even get into this course. I mean, so, is he. I'm so confused. 
Is he saying I need to grab the... The... the thing by now? I'll leave the door open. Your ball, people didn't like me yet. God, what the f... I'm so confused for no reason. I'm getting in my own head. I don't know where I'm supposed to go. Alright. That's not the way. She fucked off somewhere. I don't remember where. We talked to her last part, and then she just disappeared. At the edge of Lawichi Lake North Pier. Okay, so Lawichi Lake is different. It's not this like, little pond in the middle. They say north of here. But... Do they actually mean as a Fuji? Was I actually going the right way? That doesn't seem right. It's so confusing. Ugh. The problem with this is because uh, I think part of the problem of replaying old games like this is that you know where things are. So like you are playing, well clearly not, but it's more of like you know where you're supposed to be later in the game. So like I'm getting in my own head and I'm like not doing this in the order I should be, even though this should be much easier. This is the altar where the sacred sword Guton was enshrined. There's a great view of Laoji Lake and there's a Fuji from here. That's why they come here to pray to the mountains each year. Too bad the sacred sword isn't here now. The altar is dedicated to the Ark of Yamato. Said the Ark has been frozen in Laoji Lake for countless ages. Look, you can, you can see it down there in the frozen lake. That's the Ark of Yamato. It's a Fuji in the Ark of Yamato. This is a very sacred place to the Omina Shroud. Alright, I think there's a house right in front of the door. It's been a while, but I'm vaguely convinced. Also, areas where they like take away the music. So I haven't been here, okay. Areas where they take away the music and you just hear like wind are fucking super creepy to me. Alright. I think there's a couple foxes or whatever these are uh, along the way. They always do that where if they have a really long area, they like to dot it with like animals and stuff just to, like vaguely break up the minutia of just running straight up a hill. And then you feed the animals, and then running back and forth from then on is just a huge pain in the ass. Alright, come on. Oh, my hand is uh, falling asleep again. I don't know what it is about the way I, I sit where I go so hard in my left arm, like when I lean into it, that it falls asleep every fucking game I play. I'm pretty sure I'm not, like, end up getting, like, necrosis or something in my arm. I'm gonna go to the doctor, it's like, yeah, it's dead. I don't know. What you've been doing all this time, but it's super dead. I did not remember that this was here. Also, I don't know if I can travel through that fucking mirror, which is not great. To be fair, though, I can just, like, jump down, so it's not that bad. I know who you are. Yes, that divine look of yours is unmistakable. You're the legendary White Wolf Shiranui, aren't you? Wow, they've heard that name here, too. Well, I suppose Shiranui's legend did travel across the sea to Kamui. Guess, it's really re guess it really resonates with the Oina, because they're so spiritual. Oh, Isun, it's been quite a while, so you're still alive. Oina Shaman Tuskel. Yeah, I re ain't ready to kick the bucket yet. I just left on a little trip, that's all. I'm glad to see you safe. As you can see, we haven't been so lucky here in Kamui. Since the monsters were revived, many people have lost their lives. Yeah, I've heard all about it. So what's up with those demons coming back? And where the heck is Laika? Hmm. The demons have shut themselves up in Ezofuji's Waoku Shrine. They're responsible for the fierce blizzard raging through the Kamui. We managed to keep some of it at bay thanks to Afun Gate, but when the day comes, Kamui is sure to freeze over completely. The day is in red. Though that's not what worries me. That's not what worries me most, though. What worries me is how the demons were revived in the first place. Kamui noticed it as well, but just before the demons made their return, a dark force traveled here from the southern land. We both felt an evil energy flowing into Kamui. That's when the demons woke up, as if in response to it. Southern land. Oh, she must mean Nippon. In other words, she's talking about the return of Orochi, Ami. There have been so many monsters here in Kamui that some people even call it the birthplace of evil. I can't help thinking that all of this havoc in Pone has its root in Laoji Lake, the eternally frozen lake at the foot of Ezefuji. That's the lake outside. There's a large lake called Loichi at the foot of Ezefuji. I think the reason Kamui is called the birthplace of evil is because of the Ark of Yamato that rests in that lake. The Ark of Yamato? Anyone from Kamui knows that story. It said the legendary Iron Ark fell from the from fell from the heavens. Oh, they give me a real cutscene. I think they have the um I don't know if all of those are there. I know there's a spider one, but those are the same kind of drawings as, um, in, is it in Southern American? It's like what, it's the lines that seat the first, 
uh, arc of Season 5, or I'm sorry, the first arc of Yu-Gi-Oh! 5Ds is based on. The, uh, I can't remember what they're called, the monsters together, but, um, it's like those big-ass, um, like, patterns in the ground that should have been, like, impossible to make back then because you would need to get so high in the air to, like, see it. My grandpa used to tell me that story. Long, long ago in the Age of Myths, an iron arc fell from the celestial plane above and sunk into Laoichi Lake. The celestial plane is the land above where gods dwell. The gods are known as Celestials there. The arc the Celestials were on came crashing down to this land. It was as if they were being chased by something. What they didn't know was that on board with them were countless monsters. One by one they were consumed till all the Celestials were dead. Once the arc crashed, the monsters disembarked and started ravaging the lands. The world hasn't been saved since. It's said that the monsters still rise in the lake's depths. That must be why they call it the Lake of Demons. That's about all I know about it. Hmm. I do have one thing to add to that, and that's the story of the one surviving celestial of the Ark. Oh? The Ark filled this world in the celestial plane. It was full of monsters which killed the celestials on board, but the legend tells that there was one man who survived. He managed to escape from the hell that the Ark had become. He then fled, going into hiding somewhere in our world. Hmm. First time I've heard of that. They say the reason the monsters still emerge from the lake in Laoshi Lake is that the ruler of darkness is still searching for that man. Ruler of darkness? Does he have a name? It's all just a legend. No one knows if it's true or not. No one has ever set foot on it. But the Ark brought tragedy to our world, that's for sure. If the powers of darkness in the world are gathering Kamui, I believe it's because the Ark of Yamato is beckoning them. Hmm? I apologize for chatting so much. Now have you come all this way? Am I do assume you have Kemu's permission? I speak of permission to enter Yashpet, the Forest of Confusion. Yep, that's right. I really couldn't care less, but I'm here. It's another story. The entrance to the forest is sealed to the Oina, Oina Crest. It's our way of protecting the place from evil. There's no way that I can break the seal. But if the Elder has ordered your entry, then I must comply. Shirinui, you must have the Oina Emiot. Sua Prolo? I can't read all this stuff. <clears throat> Ow. With that amulet, you can pass by the Oina Crest unhindered, and you can proceed on into Yashbet. If the Elder is deemed it to be right, then there can be no mistake. You are the one who could find Laika. Find her before it's too late and Kumi freezes over. So, um, let me, uh, translate that for a bit. This arc was said to fall from the heavens, and basically a bunch of, like, godlike people. Not, I don't know, they don't really, they're just called the Celestials. Basically a race of people that lived up there came fucking running out of it, and even more monsters came from it. Uh, and they, what she was saying was that, uh, right... Basically, uh, very recently, in the, like, uh, how do I put this? Very recently, a dark, oh, that's creepy. A dark force came out and, um, seemed to, like, revive the two, like, I forget what they're called. Uh, revive the two twin devils, the, like, owl devils. Or, I forget what they're called. Not devils, but, like, demons. I know there's a difference. When I think devils, I think of, like, fucking horns and all that shit. Um, anyway. So it came, uh, this, like, black forest came and revived them, and they started, like, increasing this blizzard and making it go fucking ham. And, uh, more and more monsters have been coming here. And they're also saying that this arc is the birthplace of all monsters, which is why there's way more here. Which I like. I like that a lot for, okay, and this is the reason why this gate is the only reason why, uh, they haven't frozen over yet, because it's blocking some of the storm. I, um, I will say this. You'd think if the arc was the birthplace of all evil that that would be the final area. But uh, it's not. You never once go on the Ark. I'm sure there's treasure on there. I haven't looked, but... Um, I, I'm sure I looked before, but... Also, I might as well do it now. It's probably faster. Um, what the hell is over here? Oh. This is a... Uh, unexpected coincidence. Do they eat seeds? Monkeys don't eat seeds. This is bullshit. Um, yeah, you don't... You never... Uh, there's no, like, dungeon inside the Ark. Which doesn't make sense to me. I don't, I don't know if it was development time, or they're just like, fuck it, but... It seems kind of like a wasted opportunity to me. Uh, can I cut these? I should have all the upgraded abilities, but nope. Then I'm willing to bet I know what this is. It's probably the last, um, cutting ability. If I had to wager a guess. I don't remember this at all, but I must have gotten it. Because it's required for the trophies, I think. See, there are some things that I find on my own, like this, like I just randomly just found it. But there are other things that I have to, like, look up online. And I might have looked it up online before. Probably gonna be a lot of money if this, this is in the, like, 
furthest the game goes. Like, this is the... This is the most... I guess I'm trying to say this is the most forward you can progress, I think. Everywhere else is, like, an offshoot of, like, another area and stuff like that. So... If it's this far into the game, I'm willing to bet this is about to be expensive. God of Divine Spring helps those who toss in some money. Anyway, nothing ever good comes in too much money. Why not cleanse your body and soul by tossing some in? Because I don't have that much money, Isu. I think you gotta do three payments of 120,000 yen. Which I'm not going to right now. Because I forget how much the final, um, the final set of mirrors is. But I want to have money for that. Because being able to cut through anything, while nice, is not... Um, ne it's not necessary. Neither is the new weapon, but I think that'll I'll get a lot more use out of that. <sighs> yeah, it's fucking huge. They did a really good job of um, making it look a lot bigger, or making it like doesn't even seem it doesn't seem that big when you see it from like the other part of the mountain. But getting on here is fucking ridiculous. I don't know if I can get on here. I must be able to. It's like halfway in the ground. If I could, this would be the place. No, that is a, uh, it's an invisible wall. Nothing on the arc. That seems like a missed opportunity. Alright. <clears throat> Alright, oh, fuck. I love when I do that, when I just run into a, like a, a chest high thing. Or a chest high on a fucking wolf thing. So now I have that charm, I can, um, I can progress into the forest, and I think there's something you have to do there. So there's two things there. There's, um, I'm trying not to spoil, because, I don't know, if you've been following this long, then congrats. If you can remember the plot this long, which, there's no fucking way you can. But, um, there's, there's like a town in here, it's, I use the term very loosely, and there's, um, uh, and then there's like another boss fight in there. Serious forest of Drosh Pit. The entrance has been sealed by the Alina Crests. They did to protect the monsters from that part of the forest. Originally had its own power, keeping them away. One of your Ospedic lost its power. After all, no place to save from evil in this land now. You've seen with the uh, exposition. You know, I've always kind of, um. Well, not always, but I think it's kind of like a lost art. Um, hold on. I was going to say, I think it's kind of weird. Ooh, this is interesting. Again, I keep finding shit by accident. Um, I feel like you never really see games with a silent protagonist and, like, a sidekick that, like, you know, does all the talking in it very much anymore. Like, I think of Jack and Daxter. I think of Okami. Um, usually, they go the Naughty Dog route now, and they just have, like, two people. You're playing as one, but then the other person is, um, you know, there, so you can, like, banter the whole time. But there's never, like... Ooh, shit, I just found a boss. I jumped in before I realized what it was. Another bandit spider. Oh god, this one looks... much worse. This is really hidden, too. Alright, do you guys remember how to fight this? Oh, hold on. There we go. Gotta get those hooks in them. Not that hard. But it's not that easy either. I do know that if you um, you don't want to go too far because then I turn around and that fucking toss the mines off. Oh, oh fuck! There's a perfect opportunity there. I oh, know there wasn't. They weren't um, they weren't out yet. Okay. Shit. I'm trying to get a good angle. It's hard. That's two. Oh yeah, I forgot I could do a 360. I forgot I probably I forgot I had this camera angle. I love the boss theme in this game. So good. There we go. You can 700% kill him in like two shots. Just fucking Now this is where the cut thing would have come in handy. But you just cut these a bunch I kill him? Done. That easy. I don't remember if the other spider was that easy. The, uh, like, actual, the geisha spider, the boss one. I don't know if I've fought him before. I think there's three of them in the game. 
there's one shortly. There's one in the beginning of Ryoshima Coast. There's one hidden. I think there's one in the beginning, and there's one hidden out when you get the Orca and you're like swimming and doing all that stuff. The Sun Fragments is what I was talking about. You need a bunch of these to extend your health. Um, honestly, that's. I mean, it's an easy fight, and it's an easy thirty thousand dollars, which is nice, but it's not um it's very challenging. And Sun Fragments aren't really that helpful at this point. I'm not like hurting for health that badly. I thought there was going to be treasure or something down there, and I jumped in <laughs> without thinking, but that's okay. It's a pretty easy boss mechanic. Just, um, you know, you had to pry it open, and then... I don't mean, I mean, you're definitely not supposed to be able to kill it in one turn like that, but you just got to spam it a little bit. We're going to encounter a new enemy here. Yep. I think this is an offshoot of the uh, the ones we fought on Oni Island, the ones that um, had like the faces and stuff like that, like the big tablets for faces. I don't know what his. I... Okay, so he uses ice. Oh, it's kind of weak, to be honest. Oh, I see his weak point now. Yeah, not that weak, but his weak point. What would his... It's got to be fire, right? So, don't want to do this. I don't think fire was his weak point. I'm going to go and... I'm going to go out and say it. Okay. Let's just try cutting. No. I don't know what his... Uh, I don't know what his trigger is for Demon Fangs. It's not... It might be fire. I might have wasted that and used it too soon. Didn't really do that much damage. Alright. So I have the Thunder Strike, I have the Fire. I don't have the one that can make blizzards yet, but I think you can get I think you get that automatically. Yosh pet. Yosh. It's like saying yes, pet. The Eastern Forest. The ancient people of Kamui dubbed it Yosh Pet. It means confusing forest in their ancient language. They say the forest will swallow you up if you lose your way. Kai said she'd be waiting for us here. I wonder where she is. Just, uh... No, I'm not gonna... <laughs> hmm? Why am I Ah, I'm not half-baked prophet again. What are you looking for now, Mashiri? I'm still looking for you-know-whats. This cold sure is making it difficult. Like, we really care, pretty boy. You're gonna be dogging our tracks like this. You better tell us who you really are. Who I really am. That's right. I mean, we already know that you're up to no good. Excuse moi. But I don't know what you're talking about. I'm just looking for a certain path. You could say I'm a seeker of the eternal heavens. Aha, now I know why you're babbling on about a path to the heavens. You're planning on <laughs> planning a wolf murder. Then you'll take Ami's place in heaven. Huh? And by the look of it, I take it the nail on the head. It also explains why you keep turning up wherever we go. The path to the heavens? Bah. More like a highway to you know where. You misunderstand me, my little balancing friend. The path to the heavens I seek is not a vulgar thing such as that. My path to the heavens slumbers here in the land of Kamui. I seek a heavenly ark. Heavenly Ark. That's right, in Kamui there's a ship of iron locked in ice. I can sense it now. It is almost within my grasp. You two know this, do you not, Amaterasu? A leaf river all out of this. Well, I must bid you adieu. No need for my any prophecies this time. Au revoir. So there was there was one survivor of the Celestials, you say? And then he is looking for an Ark that can go to the heavens where the Celestials were? Interesting. Also, one of his henchmen said he's like 200 years old. Oh, oh weird. Oh, yeah. He seems fucking thick as pig shit. Couldn't figure that one out. I think, I don't know. Yeah, I think at this point, the game assumes if you're playing, like, if you're paying attention, you probably realized it. Um, but they're still heavy. Easton play the idiot, just in case. I've been waiting for you, Matarasu. Did you know that Yashpet means consuming forest? It means confusing forest. You just lied to me. He said that those who lose their way here can never escape. Even the monsters try to avoid the place as much as they can. Our tribe has long entrusted with has long been entrusted with protecting this forest. That's why the entrance is sealed with the Oena Crest. Recently, however, the forest power has been weakening, so it's hard to know what might be waiting us inside. But if we can make it deep inside the forest, we'll come to a special place. It's a secret place that humans can never reach. Good thing I'm not a human. I had something of a connection with the place when I was small. That's why I know the way. Right, Isun? Isun, awfully quiet. There's a chance that Laika might be there. We're all depending on you, Amaterasu. Well, it's time to begin our expedition into the forest. Run as fast as you can. Are you ready? Ready to go? Yes. 
Let me warn you first, do not underestimate this forest, okay? The tree, the tree pollen here is the power to confuse beasts. We Uina can't stay in here long, and I doubt you can either. None of us want to get lost in the blizzard and die out here, so make sure you follow me and don't follow behind. So this is kind of like a race. Uh, but also not really. Oh, spears the air, earth, and sea. Protect us with your divine powers. Oh, yeah. I forgot about this. I mean... I know there's a time limit. I'm aware. <laughs> but at the same time, treasure. That gives you more time, which is neat. I'm gonna lose her. I don't remember if I have to, uh... Purify these trees. I must, right? Yeah. They're here, so I mean... I'm just gonna run by them. They give such a such a little reward that doesn't seem useful to me. Uh, I will get the treasure. And it looks like she's waiting for me, which is nice. I didn't think she would. I know if you run into the ice, it will freeze you, so be careful here. Oh, forgot to get melee. I'm a little annoyed at that. I'm better than that. There's a long timer here, and it's well deserved, because you're going to be in here for a bit. I still get annoyed when I see those fucking holy bones. Am I supposed to have double jump at this point? Like, oh fuck. Do I have to have it at this point? I can't remember. Like, is there, like, platforming I need to do? I thought it was something, like, extra. But I guess not. I must have needed it for some point, or for something. And she says go that way. Probably could try and go that other way. Oh, you know what? I don't know how far in we are, but... There's, um, oh, no, don't give me crashing ice. That's not fun. I do want more treasure. See, don't, we're at the end of the game, and you're still giving me things that restore, like, three units of health. But at least those are ten. I don't like, um, I guess it's fine because there's a lot of treasure chests. I talk about this sometimes, but I don't like when there's, like, bad treasure dis distribution in games. Where they give you, like, beginning shit at the end of the game. I'm not a fan of that at all. Um, Godly Charm's really good, actually. It's gonna help a lot in the final boss. So I'm gonna spam through all my items. Nice. Okay. I don't like this area. The music isn't very pronounced. It's very soft. I like how I'm making it harder for myself by trying to get all the treasure. <laughs> because of course I am. There's a lot of them. They're taking up a lot of my HUD. I can't remember my field view, I should say. I can't really see where I'm going. So I think you can come back here after, assuming you missed anything. I'm sure. I'm just gonna say it. I'm just gonna say it. I'm sure there's a stray bead in here. Fucking animals. Why on earth would they put that there? I'm sure you have to go down like the wrong paths and stuff too to collect everything. Fucking mad man. I think the reason that torch was there is that you might be able to melt the snowballs, but I'm not sure. Hit this angle. Ugh. That's bullshit. You know it. God damn it, game. I don't know where she went, and that worries me. I think you can loop. Oh my god. Really? It's like, oh my god. It's like that one fucking Bentley level in Spyro 3. I absolutely lost her. This is not good. I really thought she'd wait for me. I can vaguely see her right there. She did wait for me, but just after. Okay. This area looks like it sucks. Hold on. Wait. I'm getting it. I, this is like one of the exceptions, but it just made more sense to do it that way. Because then I could run straight through. Ooh. It's close. Utani pottery. I need it. It is interesting that they found a way to make, um... They found a way to bring back enemies that were literally in, like, the... One of the first... Okay, come on, game. Give me this. They found a way to bring back enemies that were literally, like, in the beginning of the game. Um, and make them, like... Still annoying. Oh, that was close. Okay, come on. I hate this section. <laughs> it's not as... Aww. Oh, not as bad as I remember it. But it's still kind of bad. I'm just gonna cut it. So I can be on my way. 
Steel Soul is okay because it's a, it, the way the item works. Uh, both those and like whatever the other one are. The, uh, the orange one. Since they are like a percentage buff, not like a... Like, they're a percentage buff to your health and or to your attack and defense, not like a, just like a plus five, whatever, if that makes sense. I guess that's okay. That wasn't too bad. Had more than enough time. Here we are. It's been a while since I was last here, so I wonder if I'd make it. You know, after all this time, it hasn't changed one bit. Matarasi, this place is Josh Pitt's little secret. Welcome to Punk Tan, home of the Punkles. I'm sure Isun will tell you a lot more about it. Ack. Anyway, Kemu sense like his presence here, right? If we don't find her before the Day of Darkness begins and she doesn't perform the volcanic inten incantation, can we will freeze over for good. We're really counting on you, Amaterasu. Well, first things first. Let's brighten up in here. Yeah, well, one at a time, I guess. Fucking making me do this. I was going to say, there's definitely animals here, too, because they love to hide them wherever there's uh, shit like this. All right. Again, I don't really know why I'm still collecting praise and stuff like that. I don't need it, but it helps, I guess. Wow, there's a lot of animals here. Rabbits eat seeds? No. I knew that, and I still did. Of course rabbits don't eat seeds, you fucking idiot! Oh, so I should mention, um, this is going to go out on Sunday. Uh, I now have a schedule. Um, I don't know if you saw the video. It's also in the description of this video. I have a schedule kind of updating schedule that shows um, what day and what, what day I'm going to play each kind of game. So Sunday and, or Sunday and Saturday are like, you know, it's my choice so I can pretty much go back to games like this, Monster Rancher, etc. Or just play whatever I want. This place doesn't change one bit. Um, the Punkle Village, Punk Tan is in the tree stump. Too bad you're so big. I'm sure you'd like to go in there and chat with the locals. It's the mallet. Remember that mallet from like 12 parts ago? Hey, isn't that... Yeah, it's Lucky Mallet. What's it doing here? That told me wants to repay you for your kindness. Uh, I kind of thought... I kind of just assumed it stayed with us, but I guess that's not the case. Who knew tools can be so loyal? I guess you could visit Pong Tan if you were smaller. Well, Furbo, are you going to go in or what? I mean, yes. Really? Well, I suppose you could ask the villagers about Leica, but you'll have to go in there by yourself. I ain't going in there. This slick helmet of mine could get ruined in such a gloomy place. I love that they gave uh, Isun character development so late in the game. Like, you just take him for granted as, like, a, a regular, like, kind of guide character. And then you find out, oh, no, wait, he does have a backstory. <laughs> and I love that they play the, um, they play Isun's theme in here, too. This area is a lot bigger than that. I guess this definitely qualifies as a town. I forgot how, like, I remember it being a smaller area, but I forgot that they, uh, they make it a lot bigger. I don't know where anything is. So, this could be some searching. And there's definitely some plot to be had here. What an unusual customer. Say, you're a god, aren't you? We hardly see any of those these days. Listen up, god wolf. I collect things I find in the forest. Sort of a hobby. Wanna play shop with me? It's a pretty serious game. Yes. Do you have the glaive I'm looking for? No. Damn it. That's, um... Am I an idiot? This is the sword. Damn it. I, I mean, I said the glaive I'm looking for, so I can't really get that annoyed, but at the same time, I can, because it's bullshit. I need to buy more herbs, just in case. I want 10. And then, I want to sell. Man, if you wanted treasures, boy, are you going to be happy. I've just not been selling my treasure. I don't have to collect it for anything. Why the hell am I keeping it? Oh, that was one thing I was worried about. I was worried that, um... Uh, for the trophies that, because you need to collect, um, I think you have to fill, collect every treasure. Um, and I was worried that they were going to make you have them all um, in your inventory. But no, you could totally sell them, whatever you want. And I guess I haven't really needed money, which is why I didn't sell anything. But that's fine. I'm waiting for that fucking mirror. Forget how much it costs, too. Hey, you're a wolf. How'd you manage to get into the village? It must be fun playing about outside. I wish I could, but I have to practice painting the whole time. All of us in the village are given lessons by the village elder, Ishaku. He can be really strict sometimes. I've got a long way to go before I become a great artist. If only I could paint like Isun, then I'd be able to help the gods. Guys, Isun actually has talent. Who knew? Also, this is my favorite structure in the world. Hello, thumbnail. 
How are you today? <laughs> no one's gonna click on this video. I have to. It's ridiculous. It's fucking plants with sticks in them. I'm gonna name you Eggplant Monster. And then I'm, I'm gonna name you Pickles. Even though I'm pretty sure you're, you're a cucumber. Because you're not pickled. I never knew that was the difference. Like, that's one of the weird... That's one of the first revelations you have as a kid. Where it's like, you just think cucumbers and pickles are... Like, different. And then you find out... They're the same thing, but one... Get this, the pickle. It's pickled. And you're like, whoa. My whole life is a lie. It's like... I saw that there was nothing over here, and I was like, clearly, they're gonna hide something here. Because it's just an empty, like, fucking lot, basically. Or the equivalent of. That was not wind and you know it. Right, again, I don't know why I keep collecting them. I'm just like, I can't help it. Alright. I do like that there's just bugs and the village is chilling. Like, yeah, we need a lantern, so we got a fucking firefly bug or whatever. What the, it is firefly. And then they just have a millipede just chilling there forever as a uh, stairs. I don't really remember um, where I'm supposed to go. I don't have to go to the village elder, I just don't know where he is located. This seems to be the highest place we can get to so far. You know, I know one thing about elders, I like going up in high places. Or you could be in that other high place across the way. Damn it. Hey, it's amazing. A wolf of the same size as us. Hmm. It's all a little bit suspicious if you ask me. How'd you manage to find your way so deep in the Oshpet? Even the Oenic tribe can't hold down this forest for long. Any other creature dies out there in an instant. Long ago, there was an Oena girl who got lost out there, though. She was in the brink of death, poor thing. One of our tribe, Isun, found her out there. He helped her find her way back to the edge of the forest. It's funny remembering her after all this time. I suppose she must be all grown up by now. That's why they were saying, um... Whatever that, that other dog girl was saying that she was familiar with the place because Isun saved her. And that's why they're friends. Look at this Isun guy. I keep hearing great stuff about him. I did not know I could jump up here. I even less knew that there would be a clover up here. I feel like in the next Nier game, they should make it so you play as a robo dog and you have to dig up spots of platinum. And then when you dig up the platinum, you get. 30 XP or something. I'm, I'm making it. That's a reference for like just Carlos. I don't know if anyone else is gonna get. I don't know if anyone else has played all the new games like that. Platinum Studios. Hold it right there. You some kind of wolf? You can't be an ordinary wolf. You got into Pong Tan like this. We demand that you introduce yourself. <laughs> <laughs> that's such a great gag. So we don't have Isun. So Ami can't talk. <laughs> so we can't introduce ourselves. That's weird. We can usually understand animals. I have no idea what's going on in this wolf's head. <laughs> the strange makeup and the divine instrument looks so... I have a feeling I've seen them somewhere before, too. I mean, you can see my fucking... Uh, hold it right there. I remember where I recognize you from. You look just like the wolf in the scroll at old Ishaku's house. Does that mean you're a friend of our chief Ishaku? <laughs> I thought so. I suppose we better let you in. This is the home of Ishaku, chief of the Mongols. He's resting inside at the moment. Please go on in. He's old and has become quite weak. <laughs> Size are particularly bad, so keep that in mind. Make sure you don't give him any trouble. I do like the, all the different helmets and stuff they have. Ah, the typical Japanese trope of having someone have only eyebrows for eyes. Hmm? I recognize that smell. Who's there? <laughs> no. It can't be. But I'd know that bark anywhere. You must be... Ami? Ami? It is you. When you departed this world after that brutal battle, I never imagined I would see you again. My eyes have started to fail me in my old age, but I can sense it. I can sense the tears you've been trying to hide, too. <laughs> yes, go ahead and ignore me. That's the Ami I know. <laughs> I don't know how you managed to make yourself so small. But that rudeness of yours leaves me in no doubt of who you are. <laughs> Jesus Christ. No longer the young boy you remember me as, Ami. I've grown to become the leader of the Punk Ten. Yes, I'm the legendary swordsman Ishaku. Legendary swordsman Ishaku, self-proclaimed. Huh. Didn't he soon introduce himself as legendary artist, self-proclaimed? I've gone up in the world since we last met, wouldn't you say? You can give me that look, but I know you're impressed. But really, I'm sensing something about you that worries me. Your divine powers have weakened considerably. 
I assumed you haven't retrieved all 13 of them yet, have you? Things have certainly changed since we last fought together. People no longer have faith in the gods like they used to, so I suppose it's only to be expected that you're weaker now. It's sad to see you without your old strength, but let me tell you straight, Ami, in your current state, you can't possibly fight, fight off the powers of darkness. <laughs> that keeps panning back to. <laughs> so tell me, don't you have a companion traveling with you this time? Is that a no? You mean you came all this way alone? I wasn't expecting to see you with anyone in particular, mind you. Oh, well, never mind. It's no big deal. He knows. Ami, um, I'm sure you already know this, but in your current state, you can't defeat the rule of darkness. I know this because you told me like three lines ago. We punkles always knew that the darkness would come one day. That's why we've been training to be celestial envoys. You seem to have forgotten about absolutely everything. Celestial envoys are the messengers of the gods. The gods cannot live on unless people believe in them. We punkles are the only ones who communicate with gods. And we train as artists to teach the world their divine power. Then, only the very best of us are chosen to be given the honor. The honor of being named a Celestial Envoy. I was the sixth Celestial Envoy when I traveled with you. But I'm old now, and I'm not as strong as I used to be. So I decided to take everything that I've learned and teach it to my people. I've been very strict, but it's paid off. Now, almost all of them have what it takes to be a Celestial Envoy. So, I'll take a look around the village and talk to them. It's up to you to decide who will be the seventh Celestial Envoy. Whoever you choose will accompany you on your journey. Their amazing paintings will show the world your divine power. If people believe in you, your powers are sure to return. Then, and only then, will you be able to defeat the darkness. Well, that's awk, because I did have someone traveling with me. Hello, Wolf. Did you finish talking with Ishaku? <laughs> well, I hope it went well. He always enjoys having visitors. visitors. Come and see him soon. Right, well, I'm not going to talk to anyone. I'm just going to walk back in. Would you like me to... Nope. Nope. No, right, well, I gotta go... Oh my god, stop. I just said no, and you repeated it anyway. Alright. Well, I don't know who they want me to talk to. And I'm gonna probably have to save at some point. I always try and do this, and I never do it properly. Where I like, put it up as I jump. Someone in here has got the dirt on you soon, because that's very clearly... You know, he's already filling his role. Alright, well, there's Eason's house. You can tell because of his fucking helmet. Ooh. I can't tell what he's drawing here. I feel like there should have been something in here. Yeah, I'll take that. Your art is trash. I stole some of his pocket change. Wait. <laughs> Wait. Oh my god, you soon. <laughs> that is so amazing. I like that you can see the progression. Acorn, 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 peach, peach, no longer a peach. Oh, you soon. You got any more? I don't have any that's that that's totally worth coming in here. <laughs> that was amazing. Alright, well I'm willing to bet that that's who I have to talk to. I can't there we go. Oh, I have to get us both on the screen. Oh that was worth this entire video. I would make that the thumbnail, but you won't be able to tell what that is from the thumbnail. Hmm? Look at your white fur and the strange red markings. I'm not mistaking your Amaterasu. No, there's no mistaking it. Ishaku said you left the land of the living long ago, but here you are. Whatever you've been doing all this time. I suppose there's no point in questioning you, dear. Now then, I think I can hazard a guess as to why you're here. No doubt you want to make make you a seal like I did a hundred years ago. My seal crafting is unrivaled. I suppose you remember that, eh? Um, what? Seal craftsman, Mrs. Seal. Well, I'd gladly make, gladly, gladly make you one, of course, but I can't give you a big discount just because you're a god. The best price I can offer you is... I've played enough games to know that she's about to name a price that's not possible for me to, like, accumulate. That's actually not that bad. That's as low as I can go. I'd say that's a real bargain considering my skills. Yeah, why not? Fuck, that's not that bad. Very well. I'll make you the finest seal around. For free, naturally. This bitch. Why do you look so surprised? You should know I wouldn't dream of taking your money. 
shouldn't have teased you like, like that, but this is the most important work I've had in 100 years, and I'm going to do my best job ever now. First thing we need to do is decide on design. You see the board in the wall there? Use your brush and paint the seal design like you'd like. Be anything you name. Pattern. Uh, pattern you like anything. Summon the artistic fire from deep within you and paint on my board. I don't know what this is. Fuck. Nope. 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 I, it's, it's all wrong. I can do better. Okay, just, just, just let me do this. I'm alright with that. It's garbage, but I'm alright with it. You have to worry about what I think of it. This issue is pretty. <laughs> yeah. Let's do it. Wonderful. It's the one. Design is an expression of yourself. Now I'll devote all of my soul to making it for you. Oh, there's one thing I should mention. Don't ever come here again, for I really need to concentrate. If you trust my skills, you don't need to look over my shoulder. No doubt you have your own things to be on with anyway. Our paths are sure to cross again when the time comes. Trust me, it's all about destiny. I'll be on your way. Don't look back. Just follow the path you believe in. I have no fucking idea what I just did. None. Zero. She literally can't get back in. I don't know what that was for. Alright, so we went to that one. We went to that one. We didn't go to that one. I might have to go back and save. Will I remember if I go back and save? Also, we got goodies over there? You hiding shit on me, gang? Look at that. Got a hidden sprint. Oh my god. This goes a long way. Oh no. I'm calling bullshit on that one. I think the game knows what it did. Alright. Let's try and go over there. Because I like hidden shit. I will very likely not remember to go there next time. Hmm, look at that. Treasure, too. This is Steel Fist. Steel Soul and Fist. Okay. Man. Well, this is good because the end of the game is usually the part I play the least. Like, I'll usually play... I'll definitely play the beginning. And usually, if I try, like, a playthrough, I stop at, um... Halfway through this, or when you first get to a uh, Rao or Ran Tao, I forget what her name was. The um, the one in oh, I didn't notice that. The one in the middle of the city. It's like the halfway point of the city. When you first like talk to her, she goes expedition. After you go through Ryushima Coast, that's usually where I stop playing the game, just because I find that part to be a little bit boring. Uh, so I don't really get this far that often. So therefore, I don't remember every little bit. Just a bunch of treasure here. Stray bead. I've gotten five stray beads in this video out of a hundred, I should mention. I'm definitely missing a lot. I'm very curious to see how many stray beads I'll have by the end of this. Like, on a sort of casual playthrough, not like actually tracking down everything I'm getting. I'm curious to see how many I'll have by the end of it. What did you bring me here for, and why is it going to be annoying to get back? That didn't seem that worth it. I don't know how much etch glass is worth it or is worth, but that doesn't seem very I don't know, worth my time. Alright. Also, could I have just done this? Oh, we're back at these shakus, damn it. Um I guess that's not that bad. I didn't realize I could just walk straight to it. Alright, I don't know who they want me to talk to. So, I'm going to save here, and then I'm going to be confused for the first ten minutes of the next part, and then we'll keep going. Oh, there's so many save files. I remember there was one, one time when I recorded like 13 of these in advance when I was doing this, Kingdom Hearts 1, and um, something else. Ah, uh, memories. Alright. Thank you guys for watching. Uh, definitely look forward to more. All ten of you. And uh, I'll finish this game soon. See you later.